Hey guys, this is Landon Day with Graphic Authority, and today I'm going to show you another neat trick using the product from the Edge collection uh, that we just released out last week. People think of using the edges as a border to put around your photos, which is very, very true. Last week I showed you how you can use those borders to make album spreads, um, but today I'm actually going to show you how to use it to make a text box on your photo itself. Um, text is something that I know I struggle with, and this is just a way to make things easier to be read and, and really stand out at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a text box on this photo of this girl right here. Using this file, using my arrow tool, we're just going to click it and drag it on top of here. And it's got this nice little swirly kind of pattern going on, right? So I'm going to zoom out, free transform. I'm not really concerned about this staying in the same kind of proportions because there's nothing in it. I don't have to worry about head stretching or anything to that extent. But I'm going to put something sort of like so. Maybe we even make it long and skinny. It goes all the way across the bottom. I'm not really concerned, like I said, about it distorting. So we look something sort of like so. And we have this edge going around now. So, going back to uh, the photo, or, whoop. and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a background onto this, uh, this clipping mask just to help separate it out a little bit. What I'm going to do first is I am going to make sure that this background matches this photo. The way all these are set up in layers, I need to do this before I actually drag it over. So if I double click on the color box, and then click on a color in the photo, just to make sure things are matching right, uh, somewhere like that color, there's fine. Click OK. Now I'm going to flatten this, which is going to be Control Shift E, which is also Merge All, which is up here on your image, uh, and up under Layer. Merge Visible, sorry, Control Shift E is Merge Visible. So now I'm going to drag this file over and we're just going to clip it into this clipping mask. Let me zoom out so we can see what we're doing. Close these guys so we have a little more real estate. So there it is and if I hold Alt and click between these you see how it makes that arrow with the two circles. Click and there is the pattern of the background in this uh, on top of the photo. Now I can use my text tool and type in whatever I'd like. Maybe we'll make it match her skin. And type in graphic authority. Not that you would put graphic authority on it, but you can see how doing that though even though that's on a busy background, it's easy to read compared to what it would have been had it been going over her shirt, her arms, her uh, scarf thing. It makes it nice and easy to read. So this is just a real quick way to use your edge collection as a text box to give your photos and your text a different look with a different style and kind of make things stand out a little bit. Have a great day.